Welcome everybody, this is We Race Diecast, and this is the start of the YouTube Diecast series. 53 cars were sent in from around the world, but only the top 16 qualified for the tournament. The 16 drivers will compete in groups of four and earn points at each track. Round one starts here at We Race Diecast. Then we move to Commotion Diecast for round two, and finally round three at EP Videos to cap it off. Two of the best YouTube channels in the game. Make sure you subscribe to their channels so you can keep up with the action. Points will accumulate along the way, and at the end of the circuit, this is where it gets a little interesting. The top four drivers in points will head to a championship round. Their points will reset, and the four drivers will compete back through the tracks in reverse order for the championship title. The driver with the most points at the end of the championship rounds will win it and become the first ever YouTube Diecast Series Champion. Along with the title, the champion will get automatic entry into next year's event. They will also get the 16 cars in the tournament and an awesome prize pack from Merch by Meekin. Merch by Meekin was kind enough to supply prize packs for the top four drivers. They produce some awesome track accessories, so if you're looking to set up your own track, look no further. The link to their Facebook page is in the description. Make sure you mention YDS sent you, and you can get a free YDS medal sign with your next order. Alright, I don't know about you, but I'm ready for some racing. Let's meet our first four drivers in group one. First up is our top qualifier, Matt Mopar McIntosh. Matt is sponsored by Mac Racing, racing out of South Carolina, USA, in a blue 69 Dodge Charger. He'll be going up against the Doc, Derek Reap. Derek is sponsored by Doc Speed Shop, coming out of Oklahoma, USA, in the Lotus Esprit. Next up, we got Mark Pan. Sponsored by Grumpy Cloud Racing, relatively new to the game, Mark is a Washington State local and he's driving a 67 Ford Mustang. Last but not least, we got John Coon, also known as Mr. Dark. The 13 driver is sponsored by Dubious Diecast, another Oklahoma native cruising in the Chevy Vega. Drivers are aligned by their qualifying times, Matt and Derek up front, Mark and John in the back. Matt showing his speed being the top qualifier and Mark drafts behind in second. Matt starting to pull away and there's some trouble in the back with Derek. Matt gets into the wall and Mark goes looking for him. Oh, they wreck into the pillar for the bridge just before the line. Wow, let's take another look. Mark goes for the pass, tags Matt's rear fender and they both get sideways and on the wall. John hung up behind Derek who flipped back in turn five. The silver lining though, since no one crossed the finish line, we're gonna run back the race and everyone will get another crack at it. Hopefully Matt and Mark okay to keep racing. What a way to open things up. All right, they're back up top. Here we go again, race one. Matt and Mark again storm out the gate and move up front. Derek giving Mark some pressure. They come around turn six. Mark able to fend him off and Matt picks up the win. One additional feature we added for the series is a bonus point to the group winner. After all four laps are done, the car with the most points will be awarded one additional point for winning their group. This could be big time because every point matters. Each round the drivers will want to put up as much points as possible so they can move on to the championship round. Winning the group and snagging that extra point could be crucial later on in the series. We'll have to wait and see if it becomes a factor, but right now Mopar Mac up top with 5 points. We got 3 more to go. Derek rotates into the pole position, John to his right, Matt and Mark in row 2. Close race to the turn this time, and Derek able to slingshot around and keep first. Mark in the back spins around. 
close race for second and Derek out front with the win. Mark getting into trouble in turn five. You gotta watch out coming out of turn four. Too much gas and you get sideways and bad things can happen. Keep an eye on Mark in the back as he spins. Right there at the end he flips. Can't recover from that. And Derek with the win moves up to second in points and ties with Matt at seven. John and Mark a few points back. We got two more to go. Race three, John and Mark up front. Derek slides back with Matt. John boxes out Mark. Oh, and John in the wall. Mark now fighting for it. Gets out front. What a way to hustle. The back three tighten up. Mark with a nice lead. Derek tries chasing him down but can't get there. Mark with the win, followed by John, Derek, and then Matt. John getting into the wall opens up the door for Mark to sneak in. Nice side-by-side -side action going through the turns. Look at the points heading into the final lap. Derek on top with nine, but this thing is wide open. Remember, the overall winner of the group will get that bonus point. One more lap to go. Mark in the pole, Matt on his side. John and Derek in the back. Final lap. It's a close run, but Mark able to get in the front, and John pushes past Matt as well. Oh, John clips the guardrail, and Matt gets around. John and Derek almost stolen out. And here's Mark with the win. Matt comes in second. John and Derek able to limp their way in as well. Unfortunate for John falling back in position, luckily able to avoid the DNF and make it to the line. John getting a little sideways at a turn four. Matt's there and gives him just enough nudge for John to clip the rail. Here's the points and Mark Pan, the number 22 car picking up back-to-back -back wins, able to win the group. What a recovery after that DNF in race two. Mark will be awarded that bonus point for winning the group. Here they are, Mark Pan finishing on top. Can he keep it going through rounds two and three at Commotion and EP videos? Here's their final scores. Mark finishing with 13 and the bonus point brings them up to 14. Group one scores are locked. After next week and all groups have ran, we'll take a look at the overall standings and see how things are shaping. Right now, Mark on top and we got group two coming right up. Let's go. Here we go. First up, we got Herb Parker. Sponsored by Herbie Skunk Works, driving out of North Carolina, USA. Herb will be in the number 35 Jaguar XJ. Then we got Chad Daddy G Giron. He's sponsored by G4 Diecast. Coming from Colorado, USA, he'll be driving in a Dodge Challenger. Next up is Cody Irons. Sponsored by Irons Diecast Racing. Iron Man is driving out of Oklahoma, USA, and he'll be rolling in the 19 Kia Stinger GT. Finally, we got Ryan Lopez, or Arlo, sponsored by Arlo Racing. He's driving out of Connecticut, USA, and he'll be in a 17 Acura NSX. Another beautiful set of cars, and here we go. Herb and Chad up front, Cody and Ryan in row two. Chad gets sideways, Herb leads him out. Chad able to straighten out, and Ryan able to scoot past Cody for third. Chad spins again, able to maintain second place, and Herb is way out front now. Oh, and Herb stole on the track, takes a big hit, and another hit from Cody. Herb way out in front, did not expect to see that. Here's another look. Herb actually getting hit by all three drivers. Man, he'll definitely be feeling that tomorrow. Here it is from the finish cam. Herb sideways at a turn six. Losing out on the win. Luckily doesn't fall back even further. Chad in the number four car picks up first, despite being sideways and backwards the majority of the lap. Herb definitely should have banked five points there. Instead, Chad will get the honors and the five points. We got three more laps to go. Race two, Chad and Ryan up front. Herb and Cody in the back. Clean through turn one and Chad out front. 
Oh, and he flips. And Cody gets hung up behind him. And it's a two-car race now. Ryan in the lead. Herb looks on the outside and makes the pass before the line. What a pass. Ryan tags the wall a bit and it opens the door for Herb to come through. During qualifying, Herb was tied as the fastest car down the track. He's got that thing tuned. Unfortunate for Chad and Cody, they'll pick up DNFs. Chad goes in the turn a little too hard and flips. Cody with nowhere to go just gets caught up behind him. And Herb, in the right place at the right time, able to get by. That win pushes Herb up top in points with a fair lead after race two. Two more to go, the rest of the field need to get it going. Race three, Ryan and Cody in row one, Chad and Herb in row two. Cody hits the booster and leads them out. Herb on the wall but recovers. Coming around turn six, Ryan can't catch him and Cody picks up the win. Herb in third and Chad in the back. Check how high Herb gets on turn one. That's a scary picture right there. It's a long way down. Herb still holding strong with the three point lead and the bottom three close in points. Remember, we got that bonus point up for grabs. One more lap for the night. Make sure you stick around after to get a look at next week's lineups. And like and comment on the video. It does a lot for the YouTube algorithm to help us reach a wider audience. We appreciate your support. Here we go for the final lap. Cody and Herb up front. Ryan and Chad in the back row. Last lap. Herb jumps out front. Chad follows through and makes the pass on her. Fourth to first place? That move needs a name. What should we call that? Comment below. Chad spins, but crosses the line and picks up the win. Herb comes in second, followed by Cody and Ryan. Pay attention to Chad in fourth place. Able to follow Herb through the turn, and then Herb gets over and leaves the door open for Chad to make the pass. Mostly a rare move, but when it happens, it's impressive every time. 100% needs a name. Might need to go back and see who was the first to do it on clutch. Even with the win, it's not enough to catch Herb in points, and Herb will win the group and the bonus point. Congratulations to Herb Parker for taking the group. He finishes with 14 points overall. And here are the final scores for the drivers. Next week, we got groups three and four running. And after the race, we'll take a look at the overall points picture and see how everyone is stacked up after round one. Thank you guys for sticking around. Please subscribe so you don't miss next week's episode. And check out Commotion Diecast, EP videos, as well as our partner for the event, Merch by Meekin. Links are in the description. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.